you probably know by now, I absolutely love cooking and I love kitchen items. Over the years, I've tried out different kitchen items. Some I absolutely love and work super well. Others have just not really worked out for me. So today I will be sharing 20 of my all-time favorite Amazon kitchen items with you. These items will help you out just a little bit in the kitchen. Plus, these are great gift giving ideas. Let's go get started. I recently bought these cutting boards and they come in a pack of two. They are absolutely amazing. Definitely my new favorite cutting boards. So the bottom part has this rubber on it so you don't have to worry about the cutting boards slipping all over the countertop when you're trying to cut your meats or whatever you're trying to cut on your cutting board. So that's super helpful. Also, these are called chop to pot cutting boards and you might be wondering why. Well, once you are finished cutting the food on your cutting board, all you have to do is fold up the sides and bring it directly to your pot and you don't have to worry about making a huge mess like you normally would with a different cutting board. Once you start using this fry cutter, you won't stop just because it is so easy to use and this makes the most perfect size fries. I like to use this for like whenever I'm baking fries in the oven with just like normal potatoes. Of course, you could fry your fries or you can make like carrot sticks with this or dice onions. This fry cutter is amazing. Also, it's very easy to clean. I just stick it in my dishwasher and the parts come apart. It is amazing. Look at the beautiful little fries that it makes just perfect in size. I definitely recommend it. The strawberry stem hauler almost has 14,000 good reviews on Amazon. I really like it because my little ones tend to eat the stems when I give them whole strawberries. Just on accident, they're little, but this just helps you get the stem off of the strawberries in like seconds. This is also helpful if you're trying to make a strawberry pie or any type of strawberry dessert, or if you wanna fill the inside of strawberries, this makes it so easy to do so. I've done that before and it is super good to just like fill the strawberries with some chocolate. I absolutely love baking my food in ceramic baking dishes, and this is one of my all-time favorite sets. It comes with a larger baking dish and a smaller one. They're super heavy duty. I actually put them in the dishwasher to clean just because who has time to clean a big baking dish all the time? But these baking dishes cook evenly, and I just love the way they look. Next is my lemon juicer, and this lemon juicer is space saving, so it folds flat so it will fit just about anywhere. Also, if you have arthritis or have a harder time squeezing lemons, I know normal lemon juicers could just be so tricky. This one is so effortless when you squeeze it. It is seriously so amazing. Just mark my word. You gotta trust me. This is not like your normal lemon juicer. Now for my tricky jar opener, hear me out. I know we've all had those jars that just will not open. We try everything and they won't open. And then it's like a full workout trying to get those jars open. And then when they finally open, the sauce or whatever is inside just kind of splatters everywhere. Well, at least that's happened to me in the past. Maybe not you, but this jar opener opens pretty much any size jar. It is super, super amazing and helpful. Now I have my egg ring here, and this is really helpful if you want to make a bunch of breakfast sandwiches and have like the most perfect circle egg. This will help you out a ton. Also, you could do this with scrambled eggs. You don't have to just do this with fried eggs, but you just crack the egg in the egg ring and wait a couple of minutes until the egg sets, and then you could just flip it over. And like I said, you could also do this with scrambled eggs. This is really helpful. Now I have my family's all-time favorite lunch container. Whenever somebody needs a big packed snack or a packed lunch, even for my husband, I typically always use this container just because you could fill this thing with so much stuff. It really is pretty big, but also it's not too big, so it will fit into a lunch box. The seam on the outer edge is leak proof, so do keep that in mind, but the inside edges together, they're not leak proof, but I really like this. I never thought I'd say so many nice things about a snack container, but here I am. Going off of the lunch container, this snack container is so perfect. It is 100% leak proof, so you could put like crackers in one section, and then in the other section, you could put like ranch in it, and it won't get messy. So this snack container is absolutely phenomenal. 
Now we have our aloe water bottles and these water bottles I'm convinced are like the best water bottles ever. I've tried different water bottles and different like drinking cups and all of them either spill, leak, or not keep the ice cold inside but I found these ones and these ones are just the greatest water bottles. So these have like a straw so you could suck the water out if you'd like to. That's what my little ones like to do or you could like pour the water into your mouth. So you could drink it however you choose to do so. These are very high quality water bottles and they do not leak at all. I absolutely love them. These Lazy Susan Pantry organizers really have kept me organized for a long time now. My friend recommended them to me a little while ago and they are just so great. You could also use them in your refrigerator. I know a lot of condiments and different items like this get disorganized and pushed to the back of the pantry or the fridge, but these Lazy Susans really help you know what you have. Going off staying organized in the pantry, I like to buy an extra can here and there whenever they're on sale or I could buy them cheaper in bulk. This can organizer is super nice because you could pile your cans in it. You stack them on top of each other. As you could see here, there's three rows. I absolutely love these can organizers. They really have helped me stay organized and actually know what I have on hand so things don't get to waste and things don't get expired. Now I have my cheese slash veggie grater and I have had this exact one for around three to four years now. It is not getting dull at all. It is still grating my cheese and my vegetables super strong. I really like this because it has this little cup inside. So when you grate whatever you're grating, all of the food goes into this cup so it doesn't get messy on your countertop, which is a super big bonus for me because my old cheese graters would just get super messy everywhere. And then also it it has two sides, so a bigger side, as you see that I grated the cheese on here, and then you could also grade your food on the opposite side, which is a smaller side. So whether you want bigger or smaller, this one will work. This smaller two and a half quart slow cooker has quickly turned into one of my all time favorite slow cookers. Yes, it is smaller, but this thing is mighty. Also, I like to put the slow cooker insert just into my dishwasher to clean just because it is so small. So that makes it nice. And then I like to use the slow cooker when I'm making smaller meals for my family or just cooking up a couple chicken breasts. So this is nice if you have a smaller family or if you're just wanting to use a slow cooker to cook up a smaller amount of food. Now I have my favorite slow cooker of all time. This is a larger slow cooker and this thing is a machine. It rocks. I love how evenly it cooks the food and then also it kind of has a timer in it. So you could choose however long you want to cook the food for. So for example, like high for eight hours, high for two hours, or you could cook it on low for however long you choose to do so. And then when the time is up, it just goes to keep warm. So it really is nice. Now I have my veggie chopper and this is not just a typical veggie chopper. You could do so many different things with this. So there's a blade for dicing, small. You could dice super small with that blade. There's a larger blade where you could dice larger and then a slicing blade. You could shred with this. There's a potato latticing so you could like do that. And then there's a mincing garlic area. There's also an egg separator and then a basket so you could drain things out. And then it also comes with a brush to help you clean it. So this veggie chopper seriously comes with everything. It's super easy to change the blades and then it is also very easy to clean. The parts just come apart and I really like how small you could get some of your vegetables. It's really helpful for like minestrone soup and then different things where you need a bunch of veggies at once and you just can't spend 30 minutes chopping a whole bunch of veggies. You could chop your veggies in seriously no time with this. One of my little ones is at a phase where she thinks she needs to throw food on the floor, so I found this broom. This is, in my opinion, one of the best brooms ever invented because it comes with a dustpan, so you don't need to bend over to like get to the dustpan, and then also the dustpan has this little comb on it, so you could run your broom through it, and it gets any excess food or hair off of the broom. 
If you were looking for a flower container, this is the one that you need to consider. I have this flower container, but they no longer sell it on Amazon. So I'm going to give you the link for one that is very similar, but this flower container keeps your flower dry. It keeps it so nothing could get into your flower container. And then I really like the leveling bar in it. So it makes it so all you have to do when you grab a scoop of flour is just level the bar off. You don't have to shake it. So that is also really great about this flower container. I'm just making these easy dinner rolls from my cookbook but I actually made it into French bread. Also, if you're looking for a sugar container, I definitely recommend this one. This one is wonderful because it seals shut, so it keeps the sugar dry. You have no moisture or anything getting into your sugar container. It is a little bit tricky to open up just because it does have such a great seal on it. And then when you do want to use the sugar, all you have to do is open up this little spout on the top, and then you could pour your sugar out into a measuring cup. You could pour it into a bowl. You could pour it wherever you want to so I definitely recommend this sugar container. Now I have my cookbook holder and this is not your average cookbook holder. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's the most pretty wood color and then also it has a little string on the top that just looks nice and then also you could hang your cookbook holder if you'd like and then it could be different levels so you could have your cookbook holder sitting upright in the middle or down low. You might be wondering why do I need a cookbook holder? Well recently I published my first ever cookbook and I got more cookbooks in stock this past week. I was running super low but I have more for you all if you haven't gotten one or if you still want to order some for gifts. My cookbook has eight sections and a colored photo for every single recipe in this book. It's super helpful for visual learners like myself. I have my cookbook and all of these Amazon products linked down below in the description box of this video for you. I hope you found something for yourself today and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. Bye for now!